If you've ever put on your lavalier mic and pulled out your chest hair, please like and subscribe. <laughs> Comment below. We're trying to really grow the YouTube audience. Based on our call yesterday with uh, our social media team, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, all good. YouTube, nobody's there. So please, if you're seeing this, go to YouTube, subscribe, like, comment, make a funny meme or uh, emoji about it. I have gray hair. I don't know the terms. Uh, yes, so welcome back to the Box Builder Breakdown. Today, we are going to quickly show you an innovative idea that I don't know who came up with. I'm going to give credit to Megan at Swift Paws because that's who we're talking about today, Swift Paws, for an interesting way to use single-sided print for inside the box in a way we haven't specifically discussed before. So you've seen where a return folds into the box, and for outside print, that print becomes face up when you're inside the box on the return. What we haven't shown you is this. You can see here the box is not printed on the outside. It is printed on the inside, but there is a return here that is print side up. So how did we do this? Instead of having a return that is like this, print on the inside, because technically this is actually on the inside of the box and this is the outside. What we did is we added a very heavy nicking here, which just means that it was uh, barely hanging on, just enough to get it through the die cutter and onto the pallet. But when they got to the customer, in this case, Swift Paws, they take it off, flip it over, and then put it in like a return. And then to, to hold it on, because there's no material here in the hinge, we added these little indexing tabs that do not add any cost because all of this is inside of the existing material blank size. And so now you've got this one-sided print inside only print um, moment, but the outside is unprinted craft, which will look a lot better when it ships in the parcel mode. So direct to consumer, UPS, FedEx, USPS, DHL, all those guys. The back of their trucks are dirty, so white always picks up a ton of dirt. Kraft does a really good job of hiding that and doesn't look as dirty, even though it can be just as dirty. Um, so this is a way to get single-sided pricing inside print and still take advantage of having the print side up on the return. Because if you did this single-sided print and did not nick this, but instead hinged this, it would actually be this. It would fold over and you would have craft on top and you would only be able to uncover this if you flipped it down. And some of our customers do that. They take advantage of this branding moment here and print here so that it's right reading when it's open, right reading when it's open, and then some branding in the bottom. But in this case, they wanted to use it on top of the product so that everything was right reading when you're opening the box. And this was minimal touch for them. They do their fulfillment in-house, so this wasn't really an extra cost. It may be something you want to consider if you're getting fulfillment externally because every time 3PLs think about your box, they charge you 22 cents. So. All that to say, this is a very cool, innovative way of leveraging single-sided print with inside the box printing by just simply nicking the return, tearing it off, flipping it over, and putting it in. This is Swift Paws. We're proud to be working with them. They've kind of blown up, um, and they've come a long way in their journey for packaging. In fact, um, here's their version one of their branded packaging. As you can imagine, this was fa fairly expensive to ship, and now we're into version two. Uh, actually, this is like version five, but uh, the latest version, they've done some improvements on all of their components, downsizing them, making them better in a hundred ways. Uh, they, they were on Shark Tank, actually, got Lori's golden ticket. All that to say, work with your packaging supplier, tell them what you want to do, really dive into the experimental side of it. In fact, we have another project we're working on with them where we bring them a sample and they cut it up and tell us what they want. Um, so yeah, don't be scared to ask questions or tell, tell your supplier what you want. This has been the Box Builder Breakdown. I'm gonna give this a 100% five out of five flute score because this was really um, to illustrate a feature rather than to give it an unboxing score because if uh, I'm being completely objective, it's a five out of five flutes anyway, so. 
Thanks again. Talk to you soon.